a nationwide problem impacting your child's education and teachers here in Georgia leaving the profession. They say they aren't appreciated for the work that they do. And the result? Schools across the state are severely understaffed. In fact, 82% of schools are short on teachers. That's according to the Professional Association of Georgia Educators. Meanwhile, 20%. They want to leave the profession within the next five years. Reporter Abby Kasura shows us how teachers are trying to get the problem fixed. There are more than 100,000 teachers teaching more than 1.6 million students in our state every day. And right now, teachers say they're feeling burnt out. The state is trying to look for solutions. And while the governor is pushing for pay raises, some other bills in the state house could address educators' top concerns. Our educators have one goal, and that is the success of each and every one of our students. Lisa Morgan, kindergarten teacher and the head of the Georgia Association of Educators, says the governor's proposal to raise teacher pay by $2,000 dollars will help the teacher shortage problem, but a bill in the state house right now could address the number one reason teachers say they're leaving mandated tests and teacher evaluations. House Bill 457 would remove the penalty system for teacher evaluations. If a teacher gets two needs development within a five year period, then they literally lose their career. And the thing that everyone needs to understand about the needs development in the evaluation process, that is not saying that the teacher is ineffective. That is saying that in some areas, the teacher is inconsistent in their practice. There are several bills this session aimed at attracting and keeping educators here and also support staff. Senate Bill 105 includes additional retirement benefits for bus drivers, cafeteria workers and custodians. When they retire, it's getting $290 a month for their pension, which is horrific. It is unconscionable. And there's a bill out of Colorado getting George's attention. It would create reciprocity between our state and several others, removing expensive licensing fees and long waiting periods. In DeKalb County, I'm Abby Casores.